A leg of lamb roast is just so tender and so juicy. It makes a stunning centerpiece for the holiday table. <laughs> All you really need is just a sprinkling of some good old finishing salt. And your guests will be saying, this is a roast to remember. <laughs> <laughs> they will be saying that, I have no Isn't doubt. Isn't that a movie, Roast to Remember? Yeah, I, something like that, <laughs> or, or like, we were really badly roasted. <laughs> anyway, welcome, it's the most wonderful time Yay. of the year. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. Ma ho 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 <laughs> Yeah, yes. we're excited, we've got our, I've got my gloves on, we yes. got this beautiful, um, it's, it's a leg, leg of, of lamb. lamb. It's just fantastic. So let's get right into this. This All is right. a boneless leg of lamb. Um, I got this at my local butcher. He got them imported from Australia. You can get them bone in if you want, but Wesley doesn't like that. But the only thing about having the bone in is you can kind of use that. I don't like that. that. I know, yeah. but you can use the bone <laughs> then when you're slicing. But anyway, so this is, we've got right here. You've got your fat side right here. If yeah. there's any excess fat, you're going to want to trim that trim off. But off. this is uh, looking pretty good. Yeah. And we're, we like can, to have some fat on there. It makes it nice it and gives juicy. It gives, it gives us some flavor. Right, so we're going to open this up. And I'm just going to salt and pepper. We're going to uh, salt and pepper as we go. Do you want to do this really liberal, Chris? Uh, yeah, that, but that's good. And now do a little pepper. Uh, oh, you guys, this is so beautiful. If you've never done, this is a kind go. of a, I don't know, it's not as traditional as many of the other types of roasts, but um, it's just as spectacular. And when done right, <laughs> just as delicious. Now we need, to, right. we need to tie it up. So we've got... Uh, we've got some four strings. About four I'm strings, use. and uh, get it nice and tight. You just want to pull it all together. Make so. sure you have. Um, well, Chris, I'm the loon. Make sure yeah. you got two people because it helps to tie. Make sure you up. have a Chris nearby. <laughs> Oops, I got uh, your. No, I got ah, your my finger. It's kind of like you got Santa's gloves on. I, <laughs> it, it is true. I feel like that. Um, right. So I love. I, you know, we have we've been doing this now for quite a while. You guys, um, you probably know that. And we've done, I think, every kind of holiday roast under the sun, um, everywhere. And we've done ra a lamb before. We've done a beautiful rack of lamb. That's gorgeous. We've done a beef tender. Tenderloin, which is really mm -hmm. great. We've done that. Beef tenderloin. We've done a stunning uh, crown royal oh, rose, crown which, roast, is, yeah. uh, which is a crown royal rose. I always call it because it's like a royal <laughs> crown. Um, Hold and, on, I don't um, want to get my fingers all meaty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, Make sure it. that you, yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, but this is something different, and it's really great. And it's you know I'm not going to say it's the cheapest cut of meat um, in town, but then again, it's the holidays, and yeah. you're okay to you know I what don't I don't be a Scrooge. Don't don't be a Scrooge, you know, <laughs> crack open the wallet and um, it's worth it. And what you, I mean, if you're having a really big uh, dinner party, which is the way to do a dinner party, yes. it, I mean, go all out and have maybe a variety of roasts. Wouldn't your guests be just amazed at that? There we go. And you I'm going to leave job. those strings on there because it makes it a lot, leave some length on there. Yes. Yeah. It leaves it a lot easier. It makes it easier to find them when you're. <laughs> Because we're going to put a crust on this, yeah. and then when it's covered in the crust, you go like, where's the string? And then someone's <laughs> like, this is meat is really good, but it's kind of stringy. <laughs> okay, now before wow. you get going. Dad I know. jokes are flowing hey, today, Hey, it's guys. what I do. It's what I do. Um, so, so you're doing what now? I'm going to, we, so what we need to do. So you probably heard, maybe you haven't heard, lamb has a bit of a distinct flavor to it. I, I think it's really delicious, but some people, I don't know, some people say it's kind of gamey tasting is a word I've heard. Um, it's just a, it's a it has its own distinct flavor and it's pretty rich so I think to what's really good is to offset that or to just enhance that in a way that really works is you're gonna want to add some um, some aromatics like garlic um, is a really good one so I'm cutting slits in here I've got three cloves of garlic that I've just cut into slivers right and I'm just putting those down in those little slits just do them all over and uh, we're going to do that on the top and the bottom so while I'm doing that. Yeah, I'm going to make the, the 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 mixture that makes this nice and crunchy on the outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, which, form, it forms a crust. Yeah. Yes, it forms a crust. And to form that crust, I have a cup of breadcrumbs. I have got a... Those are plain bread. Crumbs. A clove of garlic that I minced. <laughs> you did what uh, with I'm it? A mincer. <laughs> All right. And then I've got a quarter cup of parsley, fresh parsley, Yum. and then a quarter cup of rosemary, which makes it just smell like the holiday. This is such a holiday <laughs> extravaganza kind of and roast. I'm just going to mix this all together. Oh, wait, I probably got to put a little salt and pepper. You definitely in there. need salt. There we go. 
How much is that? I, that was a that's half a, a teaspoon. No, that's a teaspoon. You want to put a whole teaspoon. Oh, I did? Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I put almost a whole teaspoon. <laughs> and then a healthy pinch of pepper. I yeah. like my healthy pinches. It's very, you know, it's good to be healthy, <laughs> um, even when it comes to a pinch. Okay, so we're going to continue doing I this. I love making, roasts are great because, I'm sorry, I totally interrupted. That's okay. Roasts are great because they're, they're kind of easy to prepare. They, I, I mean, it's I mean, true. It's, it's all when you get. That's the thing. When you get into getting your butcher you know, does all of the work. Well, and when you get into getting finer cuts of meat, it's really all about you know the meat just yeah. does the work for totally, you. Totally. It doesn't need a whole lot to it. So okay, I'm gonna we're gonna continue doing this, and then we're gonna add that crust, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Okay, one little last sliver of garlic that's going to go in here, and that garlic is basically just going to, it kind of like just melts into the meat. It's so <laughs> yummy. Okay, now comes the fun, fun, fun yeah, part. Yeah, so I've got two tablespoons of oil. Oil. Olive oil. Olive oil, and I'm just going to rub it on here, and Chris is going to rub it all over with his with his Yeah, hands. I mean, it, it's fine. It's just, the, what this is, what turn we're doing over. now rub is it, we're turn just, it over. <laughs> so demanding. Um, what we're doing now is this is just a way to help get that um, mixture that Wesley put together yeah. so it adheres nicely to the roast. Um, that's go. what we're going to do. Okay, now here comes the really fun part. <laughs> I love Wesley's it. Wesley's helping. I love so it. So we've got some Dijon, Dijon mustard. You could use just plain old yellow mustard. You could use some stony, a stony, some stone ground mustard. And I'm just going to rub this in. I love it. It doesn't impart, it's in really interesting what this, again, this is really a technique of just help to get that, um, those, that breadcrumb mixture to, to adhere to the roast. But it does impart um, some flavor. But I do this same technique whenever I'm smoking um, oh, yeah, some, ribs. some ribs, some baby back ribs. And I just use that old yellow, like ballpark type uh, mustard. And first time I did it, I, I saw- <laughs> I love it. I know, it's I so saw good. like a, a pit master do that. And I thought, well, isn't it gonna make it taste like mustard? I'm like, well, I like mustard. It's probably gonna be okay. And but you don't no, taste I mean, the mustard at all. Yeah. It really just, it works like, like a charm. This, this lovely flavor. Yeah, okay, now look lovely at that, isn't it? That's gorgeous. It's our lovely flavor. Okay, now do you want to sprinkle that on and I'll oh, um, yeah. I'll help to adhere it. Yeah, okay. So this is just, this is classic, classic uh, holiday fare. You can do this all the way, several, just go ahead, that's okay. I know, but I want to save some for the top I part. know, I know. <laughs> and then just kind of just press it in there. Give me a little more right here on the side. Mm -hmm. What this does is it just, it, it makes that nice, crunchy kind of exterior, oh, which is so the good. perfect um, match to that super juicy interior. Ugh. It's really, oh, it's so spectacular. Just pour the rest on there. Okay, well, you certainly <laughs> did that. Now, well, now, while he's packing that on, I've got a <laughs> roasting pan over here, and I've got the rack in there, and I just want to pour in a couple of cups of water just to give it some moisture. It helps steam a little bit. Don't overdo it with the water because you don't want it sloshing around. You certainly don't want the water touching the roast. Right. Um, now we are gonna right. be- Right. <laughs> um, now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hand you my Come meat. on over. We're just gonna place this on, like that's you said, we've, if you've got a roasting pan with a rack, a small rack, that's great. Um, if not, you can do it just in, in the pan, but don't do the water. But try to get a rack if at all possible. We've, okay, so we've got our, I'm gonna take these off, thanks for the- Yes. It, <laughs> we've got our oven. We're going to start off with it scorching. I know. Oh, all right. <laughs> kind of pointing. But like, <laughs> welcome to my life. Yeah. So anyway, we're going, we've got our oven preheated to a nice hot 400 and what do we do? 450 degrees. That's just going to start <gasps> to set in that sear. It's going to go for 15 minutes and then I'm going to turn it down to 350 and it's going to probably go depending on the size of your roast and again if you have a, if it's boneless or not but typically it goes for about 90 minutes and that's going to get it I don't like lamb is one of those that it's just if it's overcooked it really becomes tough and it's not really great um, we if like it to get if it's medium rare I, I don't find it attractive because it's a little red for it's me it's pink but you want it yeah. to be, you do want it to be pink so I'm going to bring it to about 135 degrees medium Fahrenheit. medium well, <laughs> medium medium rare right. um, right. this is you do want to use one of these kind of thermometers to help you so you know that you've got it. you're going to stick it into the largest portion of the roast and um, so let's stick her in Wesley. I'm <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I don't want to slosh my water. Watch don't out. slosh your water. Whatever you do. Okay. Oh, it smells like the holidays. Yeah. Okay. So I let this go to about 142 because Wesley really does not like it uh, too pink. Uh, of course he's blaming it on no, me. No, I'm not. I'm not. I know. It's true. Um, it's, oh. Wow. Okay. 
That's a beautiful. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's beautiful. So now, we, you know, when, when it comes out of the oven, it needs time just to kind of relax and chill and let those juices re redistribute a little bit. So we're going to let it sit for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes is perfect, but you could tent it and let it go even probably an hour and you're still going to be nice and warm. So uh, we are so close to eating time. I know. Okay. Yay. So this has been sitting about 15, almost 20 minutes and we moved it to this cutting board and now ladies well, and gentlemen, it's time. Well, first of all, time. before I did that, before we did that, I cut off the little string. Oh, I'm sorry. I failed to mention that. Yeah. When yes. it got cool enough, I snipped them all <laughs> off. He said, I get waiting longer. I got to go get those. <laughs> Those, uh, so I said, all right, well, then I'm going to go get the knife and fork. So no, we can wait a minute. Out. I do this. This what? is my job. You want to sell like, Yes. This? Oh, okay. I always well, cut. I know, but we know, we're going to switch the, sides. No. Well, this is ooh. weird. Well, here, I'll cut it, and then I'll go back over there. Okay. <laughs> He, Wesley has, has, has claimed to be, is now, and I'm perfectly happy for I, him. He is the official <laughs> roast cutter in the house. Hold on, I'm just going to. He's good. See, I'm cutting a big chunk out of here because yeah. I want to get right into it. You see how that crunchy exterior is? Oh, nice. Oh, There's it's some, so beautiful. Oh, yes. That's lovely. gorgeous. Here, hold on, I'm going to do this way. Because, okay. Because I realized I'm not showing the people what I really. Yeah, you got to show the people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, we let this go to about 140, 142. It's going to, as it comes. I as can't it, do it with that arm, Chris. That's okay. Here, I'm going to, look at this. I'm doing like. <laughs> I know. I thought you were the master. Uh, but it's the cutting. wrong way. I should turn I it around. But I want people to see oh, what's happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, the wow. tricky part there for the we camera. Go. Oh, that is, look at that crust, Chris. No, it's good. Okay. And that's Oops. the way you want it. All right. Well, I ruined that part. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> Oh, that's okay, beautiful. Okay. I think I'm um, going so, like to I said, we let this go to about 140. Of course, when you take it out, it's going to continue cook. It's going to get this got all the way up to about 145, which is a perfectly acceptable um, temperature. How is it? Oh, it's just just pink. It's which exactly is how the I way like he it. loves it. Now, a lot, a lot of times, a lot of people like to serve it a little more on the pink side. On the them. bloody side. That's not the way to say it. Oh. Where it's, it's just more of a. It's got more of a red. Oh, I cut it. myself a big piece. There you go. There well. A surprise. So that Ooh. is gorgeous. Wow. All right. Now, something. This is so good. You want me to? Oh, you're gonna yep, serve I'm yourself. Gonna, I'm gonna serve myself. Oh, Watch out. That is a lady with a baby. It almost. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that's actually that's a great. That's a. There's a little. Look at so that. So juicy. Can so... you guys see that? Hold on. Let me just do this. Can you see how wonderful that looks? It's got a little pinkness to it, which is perfect. Yeah, and if you can see in here, we, when we get into the thicker part, there's a good um, piece yeah, there's right a good there. piece for me. It's going to get even a little oh! uh, pinker. So, okay. Oh, Chris. What? Finish. Oh, salts. let me grab it. Let uh, me grab it. <laughs> here, let me get this for you. Okay. And you kind of get that I'll set. Get this all I know. Set I know. Up. We're all. Do you know where it's at? We. we oh, only, there it is. Right it's there. right here. I always have it handy. <laughs> so. Um, I don't remember. We're so excited about this. Did I tell you how long we baked it for? And did I also tell you that we baked it fat side up? We baked it fat side <laughs> up. And <laughs> it, this went about, I'm going to say. 90 minutes exactly. After, no, no, well, with, with the 15 minutes. With the 15 the minutes, rate. yes. There it's you typically going to, with the boneless, is going to take you anywhere from. Perfect. Um, anywhere from 75 to 90 minutes, and this took closer to 90 minutes. All together. All together. All together now. now. <laughs> okay. Um, this looks wow spectacular. Look of course, it needs all of the other accoutrements yeah. on the plate that you have at the holidays. <laughs> Some mashed potatoes. And you could make a little bit of an au jus um, or a gravy, possibly. A, little, a sauce is wonderful. With the drippings that are in that pan. But, you just need to, but this is so good, y'all. I really, I don't know if I... Really, it doesn't really yeah. need it, and I'm a crazy. I'm a sauce guy. I love to get saucy. Okay, um, look at that. Look. Oh, I just, I'm, I just salivated. Okay, ready? I'm more than ready. I got a big old piece. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. It just has that mm. special occasion flavor. Mm. That rosemary. It tastes like a. It tastes like a holiday it in tastes my like mouth. A, it does. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, and that salt adds just enough. It perks it up. Yeah, it, it does. totally perks it up. <gasps> Y'all. All right. This is 10,000. I'm sorry, maybe 100,000%. Wow. Yes, it's a roast, and I love roasts. <laughs> It's not even You're beef. You're catching flies with He's, your mouth. I know. It's not even beef. And he gave it 100,000. I, I mean, I had to convince him that I, he was We've got like two this. crazy dogs down there. I know, and a crazy loon. <laughs> you guys, this is so wonderful. It's the most wonderful time of the year. 
try something a little different. Do you know, it. Like I said, if you're really feeling adventurous, have this and another so roast. Good. That's fun. Mm. Um, mm. But we just wow. want you to know we're so grateful for you. We hope you have a beautiful holiday season, whatever you celebrate. Yes. And just. just Hug each other real hard. <laughs> <laughs> and hug us. Just hug us, hug us, hug us. Bye, everybody. We Bye. love you. We love you. <laughs>